Hey guys, happy Lori, happy Bihu, happy Sankranti and finally happy Pongal. So in the spirit of the harvest festivals of India, we at Cocktail Room have crafted a special cocktail to pay a tribute to the occasion. Let's go. So a little bit of background on how these festivals came to be. As we all know, India is and was a predominantly an agriculture based country. We flourished in farming and we were pioneers in many of the farming techniques that we know today. So at the end of the harvest season, it became a custom to give thanksgiving to the gods as well as each other for the bountiful produce and enjoy the much needed relaxation after the hard work at the farms. So it is during these extended periods of merriment that served as a cradle for many of the fine arts and culture that is unique to India that we see today. So relaxing for long periods of time isn't a bad thing after all. Hmm. With Pongal being the festival that we celebrate, we have crafted a cocktail which incorporates few of the ingredients which makes Pongal Pongal, namely the sugar cane and turmeric. Let's do it. First, fill your glass with ice. And set it aside. Now, take your shaker tin and measure out one and a half ounces of gin. Any gin uh, that you prefer. We have chosen gin because it has a lot of botanicals in it which will really complement the ingredients that we are adding today. So, one and a half ounces of yeah, gin goes inside. Set that aside. Then, half an ounce of Cointreau to give an orange zesty feeling to the drink. Yeah. Next, squeeze out half a juice of lemon yeah. set that aside now add 4 ounces of sugar cane juice 1 and 2 now take your ginger syrup ginger syrup is just uh, plain ginger beaded with uh, hot water and sugar is added and dissolved so now the measurement of uh, ginger syrup really uh, depends upon how strong the ginger is. Now in my case, my ginger is not that strong, so I'm adding little less than half an ounce. Add it to your shaker, set it aside. Now for the last ingredient, turmeric powder. Now I cannot tell what is the exact measurement of turmeric powder that you need to add. This is just for colouring purposes and don't add too much. That would do. Right. Now. Add your the bigger tin with loads of ice for shaking. There's never enough ice that you can add to your drink. So scoop up all the ice that you have. And we are done. Add the contents of your shaker to the other tin. Slap it and shake. Shake like this go tomorrow. Safe for the farmers. And you should be done. Dump the extra water from your glass. And pour. Now, for garnish, cut long stems off the sugarcane grass, I mean the sugarcane leaves, and for garnish, and there is your pongal cocktail. Time now for a taste. It is this orangey, citrusy. A little bit of hints of ginger as we added that. It's a well rounded drink. It's almost like a summer drink that you can sip after a hard day's work. Exactly what Pongal needs. So, I think the cocktail still doesn't have a name. What shall we name it? Hmm. What about the bounty of Pongal? A drink to enjoy after a hard, hard day's at work at office and for the farmers, hard day after a hard day's work at the farm. The bounty of Pongal.